Uh, well, we're looking for a, um, an honest response to uh, the teachings of Jesus. That's idolatry. God is all. So it's idolatry for a man to claim to be God. It's, it, God is all. If he says that it's all God, including me, that's not idolatry. God is unlimited. God is infinite. That man is not infinite. He's limited. Kita sebagai muslim mungkin dapat mengambil ibrah atau pelajaran dan juga hikmahnya bahwa agama Islam adalah yang paling benar dan paling masuk akal dari sebuah perdebatan ringan seorang rabi Yahudi yang dikenal selalu menantang Kristen bernama Goodman Lux yang beradu argumentasi beberapa tahun lalu dengan Joel Kramer yang merupakan seorang pendeta sekaligus arkeolog terkenal. Perbincangan mereka diawali dengan pendeta Joel Kramer yang menanyakan bagaimana pendapat Goodman Lux tentang ajaran Yesus dan Goodman Lux menjawabnya bahwa umat Kristen terlalu fokus pada seorang laki-laki dan malah lupa kepada Tuhannya. Uh, well, we're looking for a um, an honest response to uh, the teachings of Jesus. And... Okay, okay, let me let me explain to you an honest response. A little story to explain it. Once upon a time, there was a king, the most special, beloved king you could ever imagine. Now, this king had many, many, many children. But for some reason, one of his children became the most famous. And much of the population called him the prince. One day, the king and the prince came to a village. And the whole village got so excited, they went out and welcomed the prince. Well, how do you think the king felt? The man you call Yashka, this guy, he said, here's how you pray. Our father, you guys are focusing on a man and you're forgetting God, the father. Joel Kramer pun bertanya bagaimana pandangan Yahudi tentang hari sabat. Selain itu, Goodman Lux juga menekankan bahwa umat Kristiani sebenarnya menyembah berhala. Sedangkan Tuhan yang sebenarnya Ialah tidak terbatas, namun Tuhan yang diyakini oleh Kristen justru terbatas. Well, let me ask you this. I mean, uh, Jesus said of himself, he said, before Abraham was born, I am. Why did people pick up stones to stone him when he said that? It says in the Torah, you should know this day and take it to your heart. The Lord is God in the heaven above and on the earth below. There's nothing else. There's nothing besides God. God is the I am. Over in Hinduism, they say that man is God. That's idolatry. God is all. So it's idolatry for a man to claim to be God. It's it, God is all. If he says that it's all God, including me, that's not idolatry. God is unlimited. God is infinite. That man is not infinite. He's limited. You believe that Jesus kept the Sabbath? He said he didn't, according to that book. Okay. And Moses then, said, excuse me. Okay. Moses, when Moses' time, a man broke the Sabbath by gathering sticks. Uh -huh. And they asked of God what they should do. In those days, a person would be killed for doing such a thing. Now, in that book that you have, he went and he picked plants on Sabbath, and he said, man is greater than Sabbath. Sabbath's here for man. Or so he claimed he, that he was the Lord of the Sabbath. Uh-huh. Okay, so now we have the Bible that says, don't pick plants on Shabbos, on Shabbat. And we have this man come along and say, it's okay. Now, am I going to accept him? Look what happened. We don't have to go by faith anymore. Every single Jew who followed that religion, that belief, his grandchildren are Luke and John. They're not Jews anymore. Your belief spells, God forbid, the destruction of my people. Uh, that I don't want. Goodman Lux juga menantang konsep Kristen yang meyakini bahwa Yesus menanggung dosa-dosa umatnya. Ia mengatakan bahwa seorang laki-laki tidak bisa menanggung dosa laki-laki lain. So another thing that Jesus did is they brought him a man and they laid him before him. He was crippled and he said to the man, "Your sins are forgiven." And that was called blasphemy. Why? Well, because a man can't forgive another man's sins. God has to forgive the person's sins. Okay. And so I could say your sins are forgiven. Mm -hmm. What's the proof of that? And that 
teaching bottom line. I mean, at its core, you know, uh, before Abraham was, I am forgiving sin, greater than the temple. Uh, you know, uh, I and the Father are one. What he's doing is he's claiming to be God, correct? I lived in India for two years. And over there, they say, when you become God realized, you say, I am God, I am. Uh -huh. They say, I've seen it over there. Talk about thousands and thousands of people. He's not the only one that came up to that conclusion. Sure. And what we come up to say, we don't come up and say, I am God. But we understand the truth. We say, God is all, including me. Right. They're different. Okay. This argument's been going on for 2,000 years. I don't think I'm going to change your mind and understand. You're a pastor in the church. You have your book and your way of understanding. You're going to keep on saying it says what you want to say. What I would like you to learn, you're a decent human being. Go to the Father. Go to the King. You're always focusing on, I read that you say, you're here only to serve Yashka. You're here only to serve Him. Serve the Father. Serve the King. He's the one. He's the creator of all. I believe that His teachings were true, that He is God who became man and took on a body for the purpose of sacrifice, to be sacrificed as, as a Passover lamb for the forgiveness of my sin. The Torah tells us clearly, no man will die for another man's sins. The Father won't die for the Son's sins and the Son won't die for the Father's sin. The Bible tells us this. Now you come along and say, this man died for somebody else's sins. The Torah, that contradicts the Torah. Perbincangan menjadi menarik ketika Jal Kramer menanyakan tentang Mesias versi Yahudi dan juga pembahasan tentang Nabi Malachi yang ada pada agama Yahudi dan Kristen. We have the prophet Malachi. You call him Mal Malachi. Malachi. He's a trustworthy prophet. And he said like this, Eliyahu was going to come to usher in the age of the Messiah and he's going to bring peace between the father and the son, the children and the father. In your book, Yashka says, I didn't come to bring peace between the Father and Son, I came to bring war. Mm -hmm. Now you're asking me to believe him over the prophet. The prophet said, I come to bring peace in the family. And he specifically says, I didn't come to bring peace, I came to bring war. Okay. Now how can I believe such a man? Who am I going to do? Throw away the whole Torah, the whole Bible, our whole life? Well, well, what is your take on the Messiah? I mean, are you expecting a Messiah from studying your scriptures? From Any minute. Any minute, please so, God right now. And so, when he comes, the temple will come and there'll be peace in the world. <coughs> but we don't have the temple. We don't have peace, so we know he hasn't come. And is that a thing with Jesus? Is that he didn't, uh, he didn't, free, uh, he didn't free Israel from the that's, Roman Empire? That, that's a small problem. He didn't bring peace to the world. Okay. He, didn't bring, he didn't bring the temple. What if Look, he still will? What if he'll return? Okay, you know what? I'll tell you what. I'll prove I'm the Messiah for you right now. Okay. I'll do any miracle you want. Just tell me what you want right now on the spot. Okay. Uh, tell me. Pick one. Pick a good one. Uh, let's see. R the, the temple's destroyed. Raise it in three days. Okay. I'll do it next time when I come back. Okay. <laughs> uh, all right. Yeah. What I'm waiting for is called the revelation of God's presence. This is what we're here for, to see God himself now. Please God the temple will come. Please God the Messiah. Please God all these things. I want peace in the world. But I'm only going to be here for a little while longer. I'm going to leave this world. I want to see God. I want to see God's presence. Serve the Father. Serve the King. Okay. Have a good life, Joel. Yeah. Sahabat aswaja, perseteruan antara Yahudi dan Kristen dalam konsep keyakinan memang bukan urusan kita sebagai umat Islam. Namun, kita sebagai Muslim setidaknya dapat mengambil ibrah atau ilmu pengetahuan dan juga hikmah dari perdebatan tersebut. Salah satunya ialah kita semakin yakin bahwa Islam adalah satu-satunya agama yang paling benar dan paling masuk akal. Sebab dalam keyakinan kita sebagai Muslim tidak menjadikan Nabi Isa alaihi salam sebagai Tuhan dan juga tidak menjadikan Dajjal sebagai juru selamat. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.